Hi George, I'm Sarah from the upcoming, such a pleasure to speak to you. Um, if you could just kick us off with a brief intro, what can people expect from Gassed Up? You know, you can expect a, 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 a thrill ride, you know, a, a film that is going to engage you for its duration and uh, which hopefully has a little message to impart to young people, middle-aged people, even people who are a bit older than middle-aged people like myself as well. And obviously we might read in the newspapers headlines about these sorts of robberies taking place, but we never really hear about the story behind the, the, these things. Uh, when you first read Archie and Taz's script, what really jumped out to you? Well, not to be pedantic, but I was involved in creating the script with Archie and Taz, so it wasn't like suddenly I read a script and it jumped out. And it, it was what was it like working on that process and what was the inspiration and what was the driving force behind it? The inspiration was Rupert Preston from Vertigo releasing and Sunrise Films had seen a documentary I'd made in, um, I, he probably saw it around about 2017 called The Hard Stop, which was BAFTA nominated, which followed um, childhood friends of Mark Duggan, who was a man who was killed by police in a hard stop procedure in 2011. Rupert Preston uh, had seen that documentary and was obviously impressed enough by that to call me into his office to discuss making a drama based on a London youngster who had got himself involved with moped crime. At the time, moped crime was all over the newspapers. There was some something of a crime spree. Actually, I'd be, uh, recently, just prior to going in to meet Rupert, I'd actually had a mo uh, mobile phone snatched myself whilst uh, you know, I was in a, on a push bike and a youngster just came by on a moped and snatched my phone. So when Rupert mentioned it to me as an idea, at first I was really not too into the idea because I just thought, yeah, I don't know about, do I want to glorify these sort of people? And But then we talked about it and I realised actually most of my favourite films and most of the films that have inspired me to, be, uh, to, to pursue a career as a filmmaker have been kind of been about what you might call scumbags or you know not nice people but many of those films have been about those people and in, in a way which shows uh, sort of the common thread in humanity and what makes us all human and you've got such an incredible cast uh, such amazing chemistry between them all what was the process of finding all these people and I guess particularly Stephen playing Ash well Stephen came as part of a package with the producers who uh, saw something in, um, you know, an early draft of Gassed Up. It wasn't called Gassed Up at the time, but these producers, Bart Rispoli, Hester Ruoff, Ward Trauman and Stefan DeBart had made a film called um, A Violent Man, starring Stephen Odebola. So he came as part of that package. Now, I'd seen Blue Story, and I just thought Stevie is great. I thought in terms of casting, he was perfect for the role of Ash because Stevie's one of those very special actors who, no matter how um, nefarious the character they're playing in a movie is, there's always something you can, there's always some humanity you can see in that character. And so for that reason, I thought Steve was perfect casting and the cast we built around him, I think has been very, very good. It's been a, a pleasure working with them. I just think, yeah, I look so much young talent. And something when you're watching it that really strikes me is how visceral it feels, you know, and how cleverly you move us from the beginning of the film. Everything kind of seems like an adrenaline rush, the glamour of it all. Um, and then, of course, that changes as the film goes on. So what was your approach in that sense and what do you hope people take away? Well, really, just what you just said, you know, I hope it just sucks people in because, it, it, you know, it's something of a thrill ride. But by the end, we hope that it's one of those movies which becomes one of those movies that maybe the following day after you've seen it, you might be on the way to the fridge to get some milk or something. And you might just think, oh, okay, yeah, that I gassed up. There was something there. There was a, it made me think about things, about taking a breath, about mindfulness, you know, things like that, anything random. To be, if I'm being really honest with you, you know, now that the film was made, it's out there. And it's, uh, it's out there for people to enjoy and to take from it what they will. You mentioned, uh, I heard you say about Idris Elba, you know, is the system a bit broken? Does more needs to be done? Yes, yes. I'm right. Thank you very much. <laughs>